magazines, diamond rings and beauty queens, but nothing seems to sparkle like you do. There's fine cigars and caviar, expensive cars and movie stars, but everything I need is in this room. Oh, and I've seen a lot. To Vegas and I've tasted wine From Venice to Paris And I've seen the sights Nothing comparing to you So I ain't looking over fences Trying to find a better view My search for all that ended When I first laid eyes on you And the grass is always greener Cause the sun shines when you smile Friends and family, we have the distinct pleasure of witnessing these two persons present themselves first and foremost before God, but also before you as witnesses for the purpose of being united in marriage. As we gather to this ceremony of marriage, we recognize that we come to a Christian wedding. It's not like any other that the world may perform. While the external things may look the same, a Christian wedding is different. It is indeed a covenant between a man and a woman, but it is more importantly a covenant with God. And its foundation is Christ Jesus, our Lord. Walker and Bailey, God's greatest portrait of love is creation. And here today, once again, God is creating something brand new in the bonds of marriage. However, with the privileges of a new creation come many responsibilities, many commitments. First, always before God, 
Secondly, always to one another. Walker and Bailey, as we have discussed before, any couple that enters into a marriage must realize that this relationship is submissive. For God's word says that we as the elect of God, holy and beloved, ought to put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a complaint against the other, even as Christ forgave you, so you must also do. Walker and Bailey, we also talked about that any couple entering into marriage must also realize that this relationship is sacred. For God's word says, wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. And husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Walker and Bailey, we also talked about the fact that Anybody who enters into this relationship of marriage must realize that it's selfless. For God's word says that love suffers long and it's kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Love is not proud. Love does not behave rudely. Love does not seek its own. Love is not provoked. It thinks no evil. It does not rejoice in sin, rather rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But such love requires true effort. It's hard work breaking old ties and old relationships and establishing new commitments. But this you must do for God must come before everything followed immediately by your spouse. How in the world are you able to do this? As a couple, you must pursue God first. Seek Him first in everything that you do. Humble yourself before God for the love that you seek comes from him. Walker, understanding that this is God's instruction to you regarding how you are to love Bailey, as the Holy Spirit empowers you, do you commit to love her in this way? Do you promise to love and uphold her and join with her in the making of a home that shall endure in love and peace? Do you affirm your commitment to a deep union with her whereby you both shall know joy and fulfillment of that love? Do you pledge to her complete faithfulness through all the changing seasons of life? Walker, do you now, of your own free will, give yourself completely to her to love her in body, mind, and soul that you shall be hers alone as long as you both shall live? I do. Bailey, understanding this is also God's instruction to you regarding how you are to love Walker As the Holy Spirit empowers you, do you commit to love Him in this way? Do you promise to love and uphold Him and join with Him in a making of a home that shall endure in love and peace? Do you affirm your commitment to a deep union with Him whereby you both shall know joy and fulfillment of this love? Do you pledge to Him complete faithfulness through all the changing seasons of life? Bailey, do you now? of your own free will, give yourself completely to him, to love him in body, mind, and soul, that you shall be his alone as long as you both shall live? I do. Friends and family, a special love has been discovered here today. It's a love manifesting itself in a commitment, a holy covenant of marriage. Walker and Bailey, As you repeat these vows, I want you to be reminded that the challenges that you have faced in your separate lives have been real. But God has been with you every step of the way. He has never left you and he is here with us today. He stands as a witness to the vows you're preparing to make. So I wanna encourage you to make your vows with boldness.
Walker and Bailey, the rings that you now are going to exchange are symbolic of the love that you have for one another. As these rings have no end, so shall your love have no end. And every time that you look at your ring, be reminded of the endless love that you have promised to one another today. Walker, if you would take this ring while looking at your bride, holding her left hand in yours, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I take you, Bailey. I take you, Bailey. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Bailey, if you would take that ring and while looking at your husband, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I take you, Walker. I take you, Walker. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for wor worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Walker and Bailey, in that you both have committed yourselves to oneness with each other and with the Lord. And upon your mutual promise made here in the presence of God and these witnesses, and according to the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, before I present this couple to you, will you commit yourselves to hold them up in prayer? Will you commit to pray for God's protection, for God's purity, and for God's passion as they follow His leadership and remain under His guidance? If you will do that, please stand as a symbol of that commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Walker Gordon. Walker, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Go and under cause the spell just say the 